Hey guys, welcome to Super Sport Business. So I figured for this video, um, I'd just do a 2023 lawn care setup. So real quick before we start, uh, just a little bit about me. I'm Caden. Um, I have been in lawn care for seven years now. This year will be my seventh year in business. And um, I've always mowed yards, but um, so Another thing is I have uh, my business, I have two of every single piece of equipment at least, except for a truck and a trailer. And um, for those of you who have followed my channel, you know a lot about this truck, but um, well, my main channel, Super Sport Garage. So I figured we'd start with the truck and then move back. But um, so this is a 1996 GMC 1500 Sierra. I think it's, an F, yeah, an SLE. It's got the 5.7 Vortec in it. It's an extended cab short bed. It is a 4x4. Four four. This is my daily driver, and it's my work truck. I use it for both, but, um, yeah. This truck actually just barely crossed 224,000 miles the other day. But, um, yeah, it's nothing, nothing grand, but... So back here is where I keep... Like my toe strap, uh, there's my windshield cover, my jumper cables. It, um, in this corner, I have my uh, toe strap, my tie downs. So, moving on from that, um, I have five different gas cans. I have two five gallons, I have two two gallons, and I have a one gallon that I put all my mixed fuel in. Um, moving on to the shovel, all my hand tools. I have a, a round nose shovel and a square nose shovel. I have some hedge clippers. I also have a hedge trimmer, a bat not battery, a plug-in one. I'm not a huge fan of it. I really want a gas one just because it's easier than having to drag a power cord everywhere. And then I also have a, a leaf rake. So, so trimmers. I have one steel FS38 that I bought in 2020. I have a Husqvarna two, two, well, 2230L. Uh, it's a straight shaft. My FS38 is a curved shaft. Uh, I used to be on the curved shaft side. Now I really like my straight shaft. And then I also have this steel FS55R. And that's uh, also a straight shaft, but um, then I have my Ryobi uh, 760 CFM 175 mile an hour backpack blower. Um, I might sell this. It's listed right now on a local website, but um, we'll see if it actually sells. If not, I'll just keep it around. But then we have my steel SH86C. Uh, so this is a hand blower but I actually bought it in a vacuum configuration, so it sucks up leaves. So the spout comes out this side and sucks in a pipe here, and then you have a pipe over here that runs into a bag, and then you can run it off that. But... So this is my trailer. This is a eight by 12 uh, bumper pull, single axle. Um, I don't own this trailer. I, I don't own the truck either. Uh, I just use them, everything else I own. And, um, so the trailer I got from my first client, he didn't use it anymore. So he said, um, if you want it, you can use it. So uh, of course I'm not gonna turn it down. But um, so we have two McLean wheel edgers. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I might sell them and get the uh, trimmer style edgers, but I might just keep them just because they're there. They're nice. It's really nice for when you're cutting through uh, stuff. So this is my first mower. Yes, I need to replace that gas cap. I know that, but this is a Craftsman 22 inch residential push mower. I paid $60 for, for this mower for my first client who also gave me the trailer. And um, yeah, I, it made me a lot of money. I bet that mower's made me over $1,000 and I've owned that for seven years now. Holy crap, that's an old mower. I think it's 2012 was what, what I was told. So this is another thing that I got last year. This is a Honda HRX 217, 21 inch. I think it's commercial, I don't know. It looks like a commercial Honda mower, but um, yeah. Uh, 
got it from a client that didn't use them anymore. I mow her yard now. I actually love that mower. And, um, okay. So, on to zero turns. So this is my mower that I bought in 2020. This is a Dixon ZTR 3302. It's a 30-inch deck. We took the deck off, but over there we have, you can see laying down behind the ramps. Dang birds. Uh, there's the mower deck, and then you also have a bagger over there that um we that I use. But then you have this Brinley uh, dethatcher. I just got this a few days ago, so we're gonna try doing dethatching. And it actually worked pretty well on my own yard yesterday, so we'll we'll do some videos on that. And then we have a I don't even know what this is. I've just looked at it, but it's an it's a craftsman mini tiller um i got this for free for helping a guy move and um same with the uh same with the dethatcher but i might sell this i don't know if i'm going to be able to use it and now for the big boy and i know whenever i watch these equipment setup tours this is what i'm interested in but so this is my 2011 Toro Grandstand. It's a 48 inch wide deck. We just barely changed out all the oil and everything and just did a little bit of maintenance. Got new batteries on this and on the Dixon as well. But um, this is a workhorse and it hasn't had any issues whatsoever. Um, I am gonna be getting a bagging system for this. So that's my equipment set up. Uh, let, comment down below and let me know what uh, setups you use if you do lawn care and also just thanks for checking out the channel and uh, Make sure to like and share and subscribe and share this with your friends and I will see you next time